thank you. Well, it is a tremendous honor to be invited to do this today, so thank you for sitting there and listening to us when you could be out eating. Um, <laughs> Our first piece was by Bob Chilcott, formerly of the King Singers, and he's gone into composing now. Uh, King Singers was a group that really inspired me as a young singer. I first heard them when I was at Teachers College, actually, uh, at a point at which in my career I was determined never to be a teacher. So <laughs> that didn't quite work out. Um, so that was by Bob Chilcott, Oakley Omnium. And then we did Eric Whitaker's With a Lily. We're going to go back in time now. Uh, Fair Phyllis, I saw standing all alone, poor girl. And uh, that's by John Farber, Madrigal, and then Antonio Lotti, Crucci Fixus. In, uh, in an ideal uh, setup, this would be in a very resonant church. We're going to try and recreate some of his stereophonic ideas, and we're going to be standing you know, along the walls here. And it's in eight parts, and you'll hopefully hear the different parts coming from different directions which is, I think, what Antonio Lotti had in mind when he wrote the piece. He probably said, when you get to Mayfield, go to the walls. <laughs> <laughs>
coming back to, I don't know, 20th century, I guess, but probably goes back a little bit. This is a spiritual arranged by Robert Shaw, Alice Parker. We had the great privilege of working with Alice Parker uh, in, in the fall with U of T and some other choirs, and she's 92 years old now and still comes out and conducts and, and uh, really, you know, had them eating out of the palm. It was incredible to watch. So we're going to get to do this spiritual hark. I hear the harps eternal. Then we're moving into a riotan piece called Mitakai. Um, I've tried to find out what it means. I've, I've actually had a couple of Skype calls a few years ago with some friends who, uh, a friend of ours who's married to a Finnish gentleman, and he tried to explain the poetry, but it's in very old Finnish. It's like trying to explain, I guess, Shakespearean English. So he didn't actually know some of the words. And basically it's about a young lady who wants to move on in life and get out of the small town and the old ladies are telling her she doesn't have a chance because that you're supposed to stay in the town and become an old lady. Um, <laughs> but she seems to think that there's going to be some guy come along on a white horse and take her away from all of this. That's the general gist of it. Um, and then we're going to go right into a Scottish folk song called Loch Lomond. No, we're not. <laughs> no, we'll put that there. All right, we'll do something else. <laughs> Oh, my God. 
Russell. This is Ryan. My own money banks and my own money break. Where the sun shines bright on a woman. Where we and the true love will never want to take. On the bonny, bonny banks of the
to the 20th century now. Martin Lauritsen's O Manu Mysterium, followed by a Canadian uh, arrangement of a Canadian folk song by Donald Patrick Hatt from the Ottawa area. A si moine voulait danser. And then we're going to finish with a sort of American folk hymn called The First of My Lovers. Um, it's by Sidney Carter, and this hymn is less well known. He's the composer who wrote a song which some of you may know called I Am the Lord of the Dance. So you may have heard that one, and uh, this is that. And we, I would like to acknowledge at this time the, the loan of the handbells that we use for that piece are from Westminster United Church in Mississauga. So thank you to them for that. I would like to thank uh, OVF again for inviting us here today. Um, I began my teaching career a while ago in this school. This was my first teaching job at Mayfield, so I was here for three years. So the circle's not quite complete yet, but clearly there's a, you know, we're getting there. Um, and so it's been fun to walk around the halls and remember things that uh, happened here when I was here a while ago. And, uh, and so thank you again for being a great audience. Thank you to all of my fellow teachers at Tafra for helping uh, move things along. And I want to make a special thanks to Erica er Emerson, who's not here today, who was my supply teacher for three months and taught them all the notes. <laughs> I just had to come back and say, uh, you know, go here and do that. And, uh, the notes were all learned, so thank you, Erica, and uh, thank you to the choir for surviving that. Uh, it must have been a terrible ordeal to be without me, I know. <laughs> um, well, it was, it was a terrible ordeal for me to be without them.